Who am I speaking with? Athel Foden. Hey, Athel. Hey, uh, you are giving a session on uh, going from developer to or development to product to market. And uh, all right, I'm a developer. I know how to make a lot of code, but I don't know so much about making a product and marketing it. What is it that developers need to know? Well, developers need to know that customers don't buy code. They buy product. So what is a product? A product is a, a code or a device, even if it's a hardware, that has other parameters like packaging, pricing, name, a brand, values, um, things like that. Data sheets, documentation, website, support. Those are usually what in a big company a product manager does for you. That's why you have to do it yourself if you're a lone code developer. Once you have a product, okay, now you can go out, but who's your market? Where's the customer? What do they think of it? So you need to know something about marketing and sales channels. Um, that's in a big company, once again, that's why they have a marketing department and a sales department that uh, create the awareness, target the right customers, get the feedback, because what your developer thought was great code might not work in the marketplace. Or as an example I'm going to use today, the, the code is uh, so complicated and, and engineers love it, but the users don't. So had to go back and put a simple interface on it. Have you, I mean, it just seems like way too much for one or two little developers who are creating their own little application to do all of that stuff. Have you seen it? pulled off successfully and what is it about I guess behavior or learning that makes a single developer able to go from product to market? The, the million dollar answer here or the, the trick question or the trick answer here is you've got to get close to a customer. I have seen it pulled off, I've seen one man people pull it off um, but they're not working in isolation in the basement or the attic. They've got to get close to the customer. So, so give me specifics. How, do you, how does one get close to a customer? Well, you get close to a customer by thinking who was your first potential user. And, and uh, as a joke goes in this valley, uh, students at Stanford don't count. You have to think of who would be a paying customer. Who could this really be a value for? Let them see it. Get their feedback. Even if you don't get paid on your first assignment or your first installation. When they tell you they like it, they will tell their friends, but they will give you the feedback and then force you <laughs> to find uh, proper productizing and packaging, force you to give it a name and a price, and then you can just ask them, where do I find more like you? Uh, so is there a, and that's a really good point, is feedback is critical, but I mean, there can be sort of successes and failures in how you manage feedback. When do you know feedback is good and when do you know it's bad or is all feedback good? Uh, that's, a, that's a good question. How much feedback you take. But usually um, I, I just find that a little market research is magic. Trends show up very quickly. I'm not a big fan of personally doing market research, but I love the results. Uh, Peter Kellner that organizes this code camp, he used to run a software for opticians business and he, he he built it all around one optician in Los Altos. And then the next thing, he wasn't selling at computer shows, he was selling at optical conferences. And guess what? He followed one optician to the next optician to the next optician, and he learned to speak optician speak, whatever that is. <laughs> and they like to be treated differently to doctors. I always remember he told me that story. Before people said, oh, you take medical aid and you have appointments. We, he discovered they also have inventory because they sell a lot of eye frames, right? So they wanted to be treated different. They had uh, different societies, and uh, he um, became very successful at it. In fact, he called me one day and said, uh, how do I sell my company? And lady called back and said, I just found out what it's worth. I'm not selling.